Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. I will give you full warning, fair warning. It is 3 a.m. I left this recording to be the last thing I did today for some reason. I am tired, however, uh, you know, my poor use of planning will once again strike out against me, I suppose. Uh, we are the Shard Tail Queen today. I got, I'm coming around on Shard Tail Queen quite a bit. I will give it up for Shard Tail Queen. Uh, I originally thought that she was only good if you had Imp Toss and you just spammed Imps. Oh my, it's a Welder Helper start. Oh, maybe this is a Brainless run. This is a great, this is great news. Okay. I, basically, where I was going with that is I think you can play Rally with reasonable certainty. Rally just doesn't synergize super well with Welder Helper, but it synergizes well with uh, some other stuff that I've had to work out. We'll see what we get here. If we get Imp Toss, this run might just be a brainless win. Uh, we got Rage Talos, Failure Arcus, which is Sweep, Diligent Seraph, Exile Hellhorn, Default Umbra with Welder Helper, Ant Umbra, Assault Raid, Serum. Uh, if we see either of the main Imp Artifacts here, the run basically is over. Ah, too bad. I'll take Mind Jax. That's really good. Shadow Box, not very good. And drumroll please, Imperialist. Oh, Imperialist. I think that with the Welder Helper start, I do take Imperialist here. I think that Royalty's cool, Imperialist is really good. And you can always spec into Royalty later. This is looking like a very solid beginning to this run, I gotta say. Uh, I am not afraid of taking plus four here. Although, no, nah, I'm not afraid. I just need to have an imp behind the queen when the boss spawns, and we're gonna play mid four here. Uh, also, of course, do not forget, if you so desire, like and comment and subscribe on the video. If you wanna. You don't have to. Mm, I'll just play Train Steward top four. You wanna leave space to play imps on this turn? Kill off these enemies. Uh, there's no reason they'll hold imps for too long here. Yeah, so now we can play Train Steward. There's no reason to hold on to imps. We will not uh, see any of these cards again. This combat, you draw 20 cards total. Uh, 20 to 25, I suppose. Uh, maybe a little more than 20. To be fair. Can we give me another lifesteal here? Uh, damage shield's good, too. Uh... Okay. Now I am gonna have to deal with this 9-1 somehow. Uh, we have an imp, it's fine. Alright, we're good. I think we are fine. It's a little scary. I probably should have kept that lifesteal morsel and given it to her. Although she's not actually gonna make use of it. Are we good here? Yeah, we're good here. Alright, excellent. Great trial. Everything panned out. Big thanks to Mindjax. Cool. Okay, what are you giving us here? Horn breaks good. The end. Horn breaks good. Killing imps is strong. Uh, killing enemies is also strong. Killing imps is less strong because of Shard Tail Queen. However, uh, I still think Horn Break over Vent there just because single targeted damage. Although I guess maybe it was better to go. Uh, depending on the run. Well, it's kind of it's kind of a toss up, right? Obviously, you might be thinking, well, oh, well, you have all of this, uh, you, have, you have imp the imp killing queen, how is Hornbreak ever good? And the answer is if this run gets crazy out of control, we'll be happy we had Hornbreak. I don't feel like I need to take a third Antumbra. Actually, yeah, I'll take a third Antumbra. Sure. I can just take Crucible Collector as a strong uh, plan here. I think I will. Crucible Collector is weird because he clashes with what the queen is going to want to do. I'm gonna go right here. Endless, please. Ah, large stone. That's okay, I guess. Demon Fiend. Uh, oh, that's kind of close. I think I'm gonna not take Demon Fiend here. Although, they're, like, it is a pretty good Demon Fiend. Except for the part where he's unplayable. I'll take Horn Warrior. Do I want to large stone crucible collector? Every time, so basically, I think that there are not many units that are purely negative with large stone. However, I would put crucible collector on my list of units that I think are always bad to, to large stone. 
Uh, the reason is because uh, you end up... The health doesn't matter, basically, uh, past a certain point, because you're gonna have so much lifesteal that he survives or dies anyway. You only need to get him to like 45, and losing losing the space doesn't matter. You need his attack to be higher than like 30, but he gets that through morsels anyway. I really think the best thing to put on Crucible Collector is plus 25, plus 10, because losing space on him is really bad. Now, large stone here, uh, mid floor has two extra space or three extra space? Two extra space. So I'll have two space for imps if I do this, and he'll be a 45, 44. That's pretty good. Uh, I think that this is good. I think that this is good to do because it's just going to more or less guarantee us to survive Daedalus here. I think. Can slam trials. I think that it would be very surprising to die to Daedalus at this point. We have a good backline plan. We have an okay heavy plan for the foreseeable future. However, it will fall off uh, in a few floors. And uh, what else do we even have here? Nothing really. That's it. We have a good baseline to go big on imps if we hit some cool imp stuff. The big thing that's awkward about this one is the way that uh, Shardtail Queen has to act as our frontliner. As soon as we get an Endless Walder Helper, that stops being awkward, though. Assuming we get one, that is. Uh, I will open this. Sure. We're, highest priority is Endless on a Welder Helper, and then we just... I think we just win off of it. But we're strong enough right now. I feel relatively good about this position. We'll get through Daedalus, which is your first big hurdle in the run. We also... I even Did I even acknowledge we started with Rage Serum? We must have. This is a card that is so... Underwhelming. Unbelievably underwhelming. I don't even... I've played it twice now, and I barely even remember playing it. Ah, uh, we go Imps for sure. Act Morsels, I think, is not worth it. Here. I don't think it's worth it. We have enough cards, and we have plenty of- we have three Antumbra Assaults. I think there's no reason to keep going. Uh, we want to keep our card choices. We want to be a little choosy, at least. And we are going to look for Endless. I'm going to hard search for it here. Quick, don't take anything, just roll. Endless. Okay. Now we... Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh... So you know what's better than large stone... Uh... On... Horned Warrior? Cr consumer. Consumer is a big gamble here. Is it that big of a gamble? No, I think we get through Daedalus. It's not that big of a gamble. It's hard. It's very hard to play Consumer right now. Very hard to have three imps stick on the field anywhere without having them just like in the way top four. Because our queen kills as well. But Consumer is a card that we can very easily, depending on what we end up seeing, uh, find ourselves playing as a win condition behind Shardtail Queen. Who, by the way, I think Shardtail Queen is just going to kill... Mo like, she's gonna knock- she's gonna handle most of the combat's woes. With that Endless Welder Helper, she's gonna put a big chunk in everything. Uh, I'm okay with taking Consumer here. It's a good card to have as a long-term. Uh, Stygian Tome? One Horn's Tome is fun, but it's clunky. It's very, very weird to play One Horn's here. Uh, Remnant Pact is cool, but you gotta hit it at the correct timing, and the Stygian Tome's never bad. One Horns is probably the take, and we just slap in, uh, slap it on Horn Warrior. I think so. And as you can imagine, the big payoff we're looking for post Daedalus here is going to be, uh, can you take a guess? Oh, sorry, it's Talos. I'm sure you can take a guess at what we're looking for here certain card. He's blue. Transparent. One space. You got him in mind. I'm sure you can picture what I'm thinking here. 
Is it ever possible for me to play consumer here? Uh, he'll be at, what, seven cost? Not right now. We're gonna need a consumer is a pickup, or rather, I'm gonna give her 25 armor here. Consumer is a take that is cool, it's fun, but also without, uh, it's it's kind of like relic dependent, I guess, is how I kind is how I think of it here. We're gonna need to find a really good relic for consumer, a, an energy cheat relic particularly, or just a uh, fire chomper, and then we throw it into the transcendent pile. Something like that is where we're going here. I have to imagine. She life steals this health back, so there's no reason not to play it out like this. My queen can get sniped here until we see our Welder Helper. Like, these rounds are scary for sure. Really need you to show me the Welder Helper. God, imagine this round, but we have Plink here. <laughs> Do I mean this in a positive or negative connotation? Uh, you have to work that one out for yourself. 21. Uh, putting the imp in front saves more health. Because it gains 20 armor, or we just put it in front and it saves 21. Better. Oh hey, I get hit. I didn't notice. That's fine. Two damage post Daedalus is no big deal. Not something I'm super worried about. Yeah, this is... Our, our space is a little dry here, but we're good. What we take from this one is going to depend pretty heavily on what the uh, what the what the takes we see from this, like the rare pack and the unit draft are. There's some good takes for sure. Uh, it's usually draw basically, but sometimes we see something that makes me change my mind there. Holy fuck, we hit it! We hit it! Oh, that's ridiculous! Wow. We hit that. We take those. What the hell? We take those. Uh, I skipped this. This is definitely draw now. Probably draw energy. Probably gonna end up throwing away consumer. Even though we hit the transcendent, it's not that crazy to have consumer. Uh, 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 uh. We go to the hell vent here. Yeah, yeah. And we duplicate this guy. Now, obviously, the, there's a few cards in this deck that are... Uh, basically, I have the Large Stone Horn Warrior, and because I have that, I have taken cards that are... Uh, swing cards. One Horn Stone and Consumer. Cards that can be very good. Uh, uh, Royalty is really interesting here, because we can just get plus 20 per round, and gain 40 armor, and do 40 damage to the floor. I think I like that a little more. With double endless wilder. This run's biggest flaw is that it is all over the place. I am all over the place with what we're doing here. I think I probably need to get rid of the consumer. There's a lot of things to remove, put it like that. But every time you hit a wilder helper turn one, things get a lot better. Uh we can have her still take eight here. Fine. And we have the one horns, which is basically we're gonna probably turn Queen into our kill everything plan. Something like this is gonna end up being our plan moving forward. And with enough endless welder helpers, we just get there. Only sixty. Combat's pretty short though. It might be worth it to just slam him here. I wonder if I even play Horn Warrior. I think I put him down here now. Horn Warrior can just go chill on his own. I need all that space to throw imps at the queen. Yeah, look at that. It'd be wasted on Horned Warrior. I don't even I don't have enough energy to play that many imps. What the hell? That's how you know you're having a good one. Yeah, I think that this is good. Hot take. Might be good to gain that much attack and armor, and do that much AoE damage every turn. 
Uh, this is the sort of build with the queen, by the way, that I'm pretty sure you just, like, uh, you can s solo with the queen and nothing else. Like, I'm pretty sure I can remove Collector and uh, Other Boy, whatever his name is. Horned Warrior. Horned Warrior and Collector did their job of getting us to this point, and now we just, like, I think we just scale like crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you other than, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 it's tough. And we get a magic shop here. Ow, oh, 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 no. It is just, it, this is just, this. it's a blowout, dude. It's not close. That is, that, that is a blowout. Like, this is... Oh, this is tough. All I- the one thing I have to keep in mind, I guess, is I can't, like, power power remove because it's diligent, but, like, oh god, that is tough. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Consumer now. The plan is pretty clear. Consumer was a good take, because sometimes instead of seeing ashes there, let me let me talk you through why consumer is good here. The reason that I like taking consumer there is because we were gonna get through the Daedalus combat regardless, and sometimes uh, what we end up seeing is we see one of the energy cheat relics, right? Within one or two rings, we see like Hell's Banners, we see a Pyre Chomper, we see uh, Forever Flame. We see Sneko Gauge, right? We see something like that, and then instead of committing to this crazy imp plan that we're going on, you just commit to Consumer because you can play him, right? We throw him a multi-strike, we throw him a quick, we duplicate him a few times, and we win off of that. Sorry, I need my desk while changing positions. Because that wasn't what showed up, though, uh, we can just get rid of him. However, I still think it was correct to have him. Uh, I'm not ready to part with Crucible Collector, I don't think. Mm, no, I'm not ready to port with Horn Warrior. Crucible Collector can go. If you're wondering about why I'm removing those cards before Train Steward, that's because of draw priority, of course. I'm sure... I, I haven't really hammered home draw priority that much lately, so if you haven't seen some of my older stuff, you may not know what I'm talking about there. Uh, this is a little scary. They pick off imps. Which, the reason it's scary is because the, the fact that they pick off imps means that they will... Uh, stop the imp toss, which is a big part of my damage right now. Mm, I'll still do it. But no, basically, you, you probably know about draw priority, so I'm not going to go all in on it. I did a discussion video on it if you're interested in learning about it. It's an important mechanic to at least have somewhat of a grasp on. Oh, that would not have been a good idea. There. Uh, maybe I play Horned Warrior mid-floor here? I don't think so. I'm playing top. It's possible that I take damage from this Master of Light. Hmm. Uh, what I could do here is I could play the Welder Helpers in front. And then I'll get my... Was it 40 damage? Plus... So it'll be 84. I'm still short. I can kill this guy, though. Like this. And then we don't take the damage. That's a lot better. I'd prefer, like, I could have played the multi-strike tone, but I just prefer to take no damage when possible. And that was a time where it was possible to take nothing. Yeah, the scaling takes a little bit of time, for sure. That is the one thing to keep in mind here. And this Master of Light is the one that I had a feeling would hurt me. Uh, I can't do anything like that again, because I can't get a... Oh, no, I can, right? Uh, was it? It's 40 damage? I'm just short? I need to play... No, it's not possible, right? I am one energy short. Oh wait, no, these do double. That's right. They, the Queen siblings do double now. I forgot. So we do the same trick here. We play Wilder Helper in front. Uh, Wilder Helper in front of that. And we play the Queen Zimpling here. It doesn't really matter where. Yeah, okay. There it is. Almost missed that one. Oh, give, give me a Pyre Chomper here, please. Uh, all right. Lots of imps. Definitely need energy to play all these imps. The mind jacks is putting in work here, of course. Sorry, four, 626 armor? 
<laughs> That's really that much armor already? Wow. I was a little concerned we might have trouble with stealth boss, but uh... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I take back that moment of fear. The only thing to really be concerned about is... Uh, getting picked off by sweep, I guess. Wow. Huh. Okay. Raider's Quill is nice. The only, This deck has a little bit of uncertainty. Oh my. Oh my. This is a really hard choice. Impish Scholar lets us go crazy on Imp in a Box or One Horns, but Reinforce lets us stack so much armor. I gotta go Impish Scholar here. That's a crazy pack, though. You can pick either of those cards and see some nuts outcomes. That's like, that's like a... You take Reinforce there and you see 10k armor on this run. Uh, do I fish for Endless here? I think I do fish for Endless on Transcendent. Uh... Yeah, I will. Because there's a... There's no Steel Shop coming up. There's nothing too crazy in the Magic Shop. Multi-Strike? Eh. Uh, I should actually... I should look for the Endless first. Okay. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, this is the Seraph to take Ember Stasis. Sure, it's not bad. I don't think it's ever that bad to take this against Diligent Seraph. It, they might just stay in the deck for a little too long. Uh, kind of depends on if we get a Pyre Chomper or not. Oh yeah, I should throw... Uh, I should put down plus 25s onto an Imp. That strategy is cool. Mm, whatever. It doesn't really matter. We're, we got 80 armor per turn at a certain point in combat. We take energy from this one and just fly to the end. Very, uh, very exciting. Do, like, we don't want to throw to this Arcus. Uh, also, how important is my scaling here? I think that these cards don't matter. I'm just going to play Calcified Ember there. I think that I can still outscale this. Yeah, I can. Good. Uh, we wait to pay off crazy on Transcendent. We just hit you with a... Coming up here. I'll kill you with a Queen Zimpling, most likely. Most likely I kill this guy with a Queen Zimpling next turn. Worst case, I take six, which isn't that bad either. Uh, no Queen Zimpling. We got the Antumbra, so... It's big. Uh, what we really want is... Uh, Pyre Chomper here. Sweet. Yeah, that's really nice. If I could get an Endless on that Transcendent... Oh, I was wrong. This is the 3, not the 13. Oops. That's okay. We take 6. It's not the end of the world. Thought this was, uh, thought that was the other one. It's fine. And was on Transcendent, though, for real. At this point, like, the run's already basically over. Ah, Shattering Dark Shard? Mmm. The one, the one horns plus the Welder Helpers, dude. I am gonna take some curses if I play it like this. Uh, but if I don't play it like this, it takes a really long time. I guess what we do here... The best way to play this one out, I think, is to do this. The thing is, when the Shardtail Queen kills the Imps, I'll still take the Curses, so I'll end up having to take damage. Uh, I think it's best to do this. That way we don't lose our pace, and, but we get the Imps. Although I am taking some damage from double heavies, it's going to be important to get uh, One Horn's Tome playable as well. Double heavies are going to cause some problems. Us. I'm going to look for the high roll here. And I need to rally, I think. The high roll is just a Pyre Chomper. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty good as well. That'll do. 
Uh, I kind of played this out wrong. I should have put the Wilder Helper in front. Hmm. What are you doing to me? You're doing... I should Calcify Ember this for sure. Okay. Yeah, played this out a little wrong. It just puts us in a position to potentially take damage from this Clip Guardian. Most likely we will, but even if we do, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I could have got this guy. If I had played the Wilder Helper slightly differently. I'm gonna leave this Pyre Chomper in. It's always good to draw. Put this down here. Never gonna be a bad turn to pull Pyre Chomper. On this run. Well, I guess I was immediately proven wrong. Yeah, we'll just drop this guy. We'll take 18. Fine. The problem is our double heavy plan is... I have to play the One Horns, but One Horns is an awkward card for this deck to play right now. No doubt we kill uh, your boy Arcus here, and once we get to, like, our scaling from this point gets pretty big, I believe. Play Horned Warrior. He's worth it. He's not gonna do a ton, and if we hit Transcend him here, ah, uh, no Transcend him. Shame. That's fine. This combat wasn't perfect, and it was still pretty good. We take a bit. Of, we took a bit of a chunk, but we should be fine. Oh my god, another one! What the hell? We gotta go energy. Another. We found two transcendents. Oh, gross, gross, gross. Uh, we go left here, I believe. The duplicate goes to. Are we just transcend him? Not nah, probably imp in a box. I think so. Imp in a box is probably the better dupe, although Transcendent just pulls another Imp in the box, I guess, assuming we draw it properly. Get rid of the Stewards. And I think we want to go... I think we go Rally 2 here. I think this is a Rally game more than it is an Imperialist game. I think so. At this point. Okay. 400 gold. We're probably... We'll see what the next path looks like. I'll say, I probably do not want this. I think I should respect this. It's possible that this can snipe me if things go very wrong. But if it doesn't snipe me, this is just throwing away free money. I, it should be okay, but this is a scary combat to take a plus eight on for sure. Multi-strike combat is threatening. But things have to go pretty wrong for this to not be right. Yeah, okay, we're fine. This is the only wave that really poses much of a threat. So I feel reasonably confident now. Because we just take that thing out. Uh, what's worth here? Probably worth to just throw Horned Warrior right here. Let him get a chunk in on Steel Wings. If we, as long as we get past like these next two rounds, it should be fine. I haven't played enough for Transcendent to really feel that good, although I think that it's a bait to hold Transcendent for too long here. I think we just play it now. We have a second one for our big boss killing payout, and the way that we lose this is if we do not stabilize in time. Uh, and that's like, we're stabilized, basically. More or less, anyway. Once we get the... Uh, what is it? Wait, we don't play this Transcend if I don't think. We wait, and then we play that one to pull back an Imp in a box off of Impish Scholar. And once we get the One Horns down, it starts to look a little cleaner as well. I imagine, anyway. Really good timing to draw One Horns there. Like, really, really, really good One Horns timing. The reason we can play One Horns here, of course, is because we put up an absurdist amount of armor. Absurdist? An absurd amount of armor. How about? Didn't quite pull the right card there. Still okay. It wasn't great there, but it was still fine. Yeah, we were able to take the trial. But it, you can see how it could have been scary. You can see why I was afraid. There's a lot of damage being threatened. And we now let it rip. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Yeah. Decent. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty strong. Okay. Rally Queen really does get pretty out of control. I... This is... Of course, I, I don't know. I've been having so many runs that just look like this. I don't, I, it's hard for me to say if Rally Queen is actually good in an average run because I never have an average run of this champion. I just have this shit. When I try to play Rally Queen and go, hmm, how good is this? I just end up playing this ridiculousness. And this is ridiculous. There's, like, there's that short period of time where the deck can be, we, like the first three turns is where it's risky and then we just... Snowball. Uh, I go left here. I mean, yeah, you snowball. You have three fucking transcendents, of course you snowball. I'm gonna go left. Uh, endless on any of these transcendents is just GG. It's just worth the look. If you don't see it, it's still probably GG, but like, you see transcendent endless there and it's over. Uh... Spells with Consume have a 50% kind of sucks. I'm gonna roll this. Rage plus one is cool. Chain of Gems is also really good here. Yeah, these are both great. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and burn Shade Splitters. There's nothing important. This is the thing. The reason that this deck is gonna do really well in a Diligent is because even though I'm going to... Uh, burn through all my spells. It doesn't matter because our important cards are minions who can't be burned. Or they already say consume. The only thing to be concerned about on this run, I think I take the second one horns here. Mm, I'll take the fourth transcendent. The only thing to really be concerned about on this run is maybe the the curse boys and the curses that Seraph put in the deck are going to cause me to uh, fuck up my draws. That is possible. Like, if we don't see a Welder Helper Endless for five turns, it can be bad. Never mind, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, Fear's gone. Let's begin the scaling. I'm going to not consume a card here. I don't want to put it in the pile. And we'll put Horn Warrior up here to catch anything that tries to sneak by. Oh yeah, okay, we're fine. Chain of Gems in combination with Welder Helper, uh, you know. Not the greatest. Is this worth? 240 armor basically just guarantees a position that's good. I think it's worth. We more or less put ourselves in a position that should not, not never lose, but it shouldn't struggle that much, if that makes sense. I can't play Calcified Ember here. Like, I can play... We, we don't win off of all this armor, but I can play with certainty a... This does do enough, yeah. Basically, we can play with certainty one horns tome, and I'm not gonna go, oh no, what if my queen gets sniped? That's the big thing there. Uh, I don't play self-mutilation here. I've definitely found myself, uh, thanks to some comments pointing this out, I do occasionally bait myself into playing... Oh, I can't play self thing. Like, I, I sometimes bait myself into playing these instead of playing cards that actually matter. Like, that one damage doesn't matter. It's really, like, that one is just a psychological thing, I imagine. It's just, like, dude, it's scary. You see that big glowing red? Terrifying. Very scary. And you for a hundo. I am gonna maybe take a bunch from this heavy. Need to hit that tome ASAP. I, I knew that the draws were gonna be tough because of the versus. Alright, now, like, this is the turn that can go insane. Uh, it's not super insane, it's just fine. Nice that we don't take a curse, I guess. Yeah, just fine. Uh, I'm going to let one of these Wilder Helpers go here, by the way. It's correct. The reason it's correct is because I'm going to have to let one of them go soon anyway, because of the upcoming One Horns Tome I have to play. And letting one go there lets us get through that double heavy combat. Okay, here we go now. Pyre Chomper big here. Ah. Uh, Alright. It's fine. We win. 
You just play one horns tell and win the game here. We're no longer threatened by anything. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Uh, wow, what a great run of imps. I didn't even get. We did not even get into the real absurd shit that you can see on a run like this. Let's see if we can have a taste of it. Give me a pyre chomper, please. Oh my god, it's never pyre chomper there. Ah, oh, disgusting. Uh, I'm gonna transcend imp and maybe get another imp in a box and go for the pyre chomper. Come on, you gotta give me pyre chomper now, right? It's just not possible. Three, six, this three, six, nine, ten. Okay, I gotta play one of these. You gotta give me pyre chomper, right? It's never pyre chomper there. Okay. That's really sad. That's the downside of playing with an imp in a box uh, plan, right? You just sometimes miss it completely and you don't get to go crazy. Darn, we only got to get to... Oh man, it's only 500 times 2 with 1200 armor. What an underwhelming combat. Wow. Yeah, I mean... You see a Welder Helper start when you're playing Exile Hellhorned and you go, Oh, there's a chance that this run's just over. And then you get that Endless that early and you go, Oh, this run's just over. And then, you know, then they show you fucking Ashes of the Fallen, two Transcendents, two Impina boxes. This deck has four Transcendents in it. God. The only thing that I'm mad about is that Diligent stopped me from doing anything too interesting there. Diligent put a halt to anything exciting. Because Purifiers existed at me, and I wasn't able to play bottom four because it's too risky. <sighs> Sad. Like, that was that was a combat that should have ended with me having, like, we had, if that was any other boss, we end that combat with probably, like, 10,000 armor. And, like, 10 multi-strike. Something crazy. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just have to settle for a boring regular win. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.